Hi guys, Tiffany here with a cosplay tutorial on how I made Emile's head from Near Replicant. And if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial on how I made it, I have a blueprint for Emile's head available on my website, www.tiffanygordoncosplay, or see the link below. I first started off by printing off the blueprint, assembling it, and then tracing all of the main face pieces. These are letter A through V onto four millimeter EVA foam and cut it out with an X-Acto knife. And here's what all of the pieces should look like once they're cut out. Next, I applied contact cement glue to all of the edges of each of these pieces. And once they were fully dry, started to assemble them together. First, starting off by attaching letter K to M and attaching letter P and I to those pieces. These are the pieces for under the mouth. Then I started to attach the pieces above the mouth, starting with letter J and L, then attaching the smaller pieces O and H, starting at the bottom, and then attaching letters N and G, starting at the top this time. Next, I attached Q and F to the top part, starting by aligning them with the eye sockets going down, and then aligning from the top of the eye socket going up. And here is what the pieces should look like so far. Next, I attach the top section to the bottom section and align this starting at the mouth going downwards. And then added letters R and E to either side of the face. And this will complete the front section of Emile's head. At this point, there should be four pieces of the alphabet on either side of the face. So letters A, B, C, D on one side, and letters S, T, U, V on the other. I then slowly attached each of these sides together, attaching each pieces in twos first, and then attaching the two pieces of twos together to create a four-piece section. And a helpful trick for making sure all of your seams align Use the table starting on one section and slowly push the seams together along the table. And this is what one of the four piece alphabet should look like. And once those four pieces on either side were done, connect those two to make another half. And now your Emile's head should be in two sections, a front half and a back half. I next traced onto four millimeter EVA foam the eyes, the lips, and the teeth, and then cut them out with an X-Acto knife. As well as all of the remaining pieces on the blueprint, I traced and cut out of two millimeter EVA foam. These pieces include the gums, the eye holes, behind the head mouthpiece, and behind the head eye socket pieces. Once that was done, I then went to my workbench. Starting off with the lips, I rounded them so they kind of came to a point in the center and attached them using contact cement glue to Emile's head. Starting in the center and laying it outwards towards the ends. I then went back to my workbench, taking the entire front part of the head and rounded out all of the eye sockets, rounded the edges, as well as made the mouth hole a little bit more even and fluid. Next, I applied contact cement glue to the eye socket in the back of the head and attached the two millimeter foam to the inside of the head. Next, for the teeth. I highly recommend labeling the teeth in a sort of manner so you know which ones go to which pieces. For me, I indicated all of the top and the bottom with a T and a B, and I labeled them one through 13 from left to right. I then started by placing the center tooth in the middle of the gums, tracing where it was going to be attached, and slowly worked my way outwards on each tooth. And when I had all of my placements for the teeth, I applied contact cement glue to both pieces. Side note, a little trick to help with your teeth for gluing and having them not move, apply a piece of masking tape where it attaches to the table, and then you can put all of your pieces onto it and none of them will move while you are applying your glue. And once the glue is dry, slowly start to attach all of the teeth to the gums. 
And here's what they should look like. Now that all the teeth are attached to the gums, it's time to become a dentist and round all of the edges of the teeth so they look a little less straight up and down. And when they were done, I applied contact cement glue to the inside of the head as well as to the gums, let them fully dry, and then attached them slowly together. Again, starting in the center with the middle tooth and slowly working outwards. And here's what the head should look like so far. Next, for all of the eye pieces, I took them to the workbench and rounded all of those edges out again as well, and glued them to the eye socket. The next step is for gluing the large two millimeter mouthpiece to the inside of the head. This is more of a structural piece, so if you decide to not use it, your mouth and the shape of the whole head may change from a circle to different shapes. So it's not 100% necessary, but I would highly recommend it for structural reasons. And this too I applied with contact cement glue starting from the center and laying it out slowly towards the sides. And here's what our happy little guy looks like. Now to attach our two halves to make one. And for this I applied contact cement glue to both edges and then waited for them to fully dry and slowly attach them together. And attaching these pieces are probably the most difficult part for this project. And for me, I started off by attaching the very top half of both pieces, doing a light tack, and then attaching the very end pieces doing a light tack, and then slowly bringing the two lines together towards the center. Now for the fun part! Lots and lots of sanding by hand. And for me, I used a 120 grit sandpaper and sanded out the entire surface, not just the seams of the head. This way it gave it a consistent look throughout the entire piece. And for me, I wanted to add even more texture to the surface and really make it look a little bit more creepy and not so flat and round. And to do this, I used Quick Seal, applying it with a flat surface and then using aluminum foil in a wadded up ball and slowly pressed it on so that way it would make it look a little bit more like wall plaster kind of spackly. Side note, quick seal dries pretty fast so you want to work in small sections at a time otherwise your pieces will dry. I continued to do this throughout the entire face leaving the eyes and the mouth part undone. And here's what it looked like once it was done. After waiting 24 hours for the quick seal to dry, it was finally time to plasti dip the entire head. And for this, I did three heavy coats onto the entire surface. Now for painting. For this, we're gonna be using Createx Colors Wicked Color Line. Starting off with a mix of their black and white airbrush paint, and spraying it onto the entire surface of the head. I next went in for some shadowing, applying some black around the mouth and the lips, as well as painting all of the teeth and the gum and the eye socket black. And then use the Wicked White on the eyes and the teeth. Now for detail painting. For this, I painted by hand with the Wicked Colors Black around all of the eye sockets going in around the outer part as well as in between the two little circle pieces. And continued this as well through the mouth, doing the crack part of the smile and through the center section between the teeth. And for the gum section, I did a mix of red and black Createx Colors paint painting it on by hand. And once all of that was dry, I then wanted to seal the piece. And for this, I started off using Createx Colors UVLS Clear Satin for the eyes as well as for the mouth. And then for the rest of the surface of Emile's head, I used Createx Colors UVLS Clear, but they're matte this time. The matte is really going to help reduce the shine that the quick seal is going to be bringing through the surface and look consistent and even on the surface. And then your head is done, unless you want to wear it. And for that, here's what I did. 
on the very back seam, I ended up pulling it apart slightly and then cut it out about a centimeter worth of foam so that way it would fit a zipper in between. I did this to the height for an eight inch long zipper. And for attaching the zipper to the foam, I just used hot glue, gluing it to the inside and then attaching it from the top, working my way down. You wanna make sure that the zipper is facing outwards away from the inside of the head and having the zipper pull tab at the very bottom so that way it'll unzip towards the top. And once both sides have dried and it's fully attached, you should have a functioning zipper and be able to wear your mule's head. And that, guys, is how I made my mule's head from the game Near Replicant. Thank you guys so much for watching this cosplay tutorial and I hope that you liked it. If so, press the like button for the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment letting me know what you thought of the video. And I will see you for our next one. Much love, guys.